Naylor, the Frugal Tech. The other day, I was listening to a podcast called Windows Weekly, and it features uh, Leo Laporte and Paul Therott. Um, very good show, by the way, if you get a chance to listen to it. I highly recommend it. The show, though, one of the things that Paul mentioned was, you know, Google Apps, and he started talking about Small Business Server, and really, he kind of made it, uh, kind of mentioned the fact, you know, Google Apps was free um, and an excellent replacement for Exchange Server. Uh, they, Google had made a tool available uh, that you run on each desktop that would synchronize Outlook and uh, uh, Google Apps, the Gmail and the calendaring application. Uh, and, you know, basically it's free and all this stuff. So it got me to thinking. You know, when you're when you're a small company, when you're getting started, particularly, you know, every dollar is precious. Every dollar is precious. Um, Google Apps has its place. Now, first, I want to talk about Small Business Server 2008, and I'm not going to give them a lot of the technical stuff about it, but essentially, it comes in two versions: a standard and a premium edition. Both support up to 75 users, and the standard edition features Exchange 2007, Windows SharePoint Services 3.0. Windows Software Update Services 3.0. Uh, I believe uh, like a, about a four month trial of the Forefront Security for Exchange Server uh, in integration with Office, uh, what's it? Yeah, Office Live Small Business. If you get the premium edition, that includes uh, SQL Server 2008. Now Google Apps comes in two editions, a standard and a premium. Now the standard edition is web-based uh, includes your Gmail, your uh, calendar, as well as Google Docs. Uh, you can use your own domain, so you can basically have your email uh, uh, forwarded or, or, or sent through uh, uh, Gmail. And that's very, very cool. You can use your own domain. Uh, it's advertising supported, however. Uh, what Paul, I think, got wrong was is that this free tool if, uh, he was referring to uh, the tool to synchronize Outlook with uh, uh, Google Doc or Google Apps, uh, you have to have the paid subscription, which is the premium edition, and that's 50 bucks a month per user. Um, it also allows up to 25 gigabytes of storage per mailbox per user, which is very, very cool. Um, so that being said, um, Small Business Server 2008 had a price increase, all right? So the, the standard edition is now about $1,089, and the, the client access licenses, oh, and that, that includes five client access licenses. The premium edition includes or is about eighteen or about $1,900, and the, the client access licenses are about $189 a piece. So I got to doing some math and said, okay, if you have a 25-user shop, if you went with the Google Premium version, right? That's uh, you're looking at $2,500 a year every year. If you did uh, Small Business Server Standard with 20 additional cows, you're at $2,629 plus the price of a server. Uh, even though it does have uh, block level in, uh, block level backup include solution included with Small Business Server, you know, you're going to need some type of backup device independent of the server you probably will need a consultant uh, unless you're an IT guy to get it all everything configured get email and all that flowing through exchange so there you have it you have the Google Apps which is uh, the standard edition which is free web based uh, ad sponsored but it's you know it's a $2,500 a year ongoing thing um, now remember though if you choose small business server you're going to get a whole lot more than just mail and calendaring and the rest of the Google Docs. And yeah, you can use that somewhat as like a SharePoint services sort of thing. You're also going to get, you know, file sharing, printer sharing, um, network authentication, group policy. You're going to get the remote web workplace. You're going to get better client management. As I said, there's a uh, block level uh, uh, backup that comes with Small Business Server 2008. Uh, so these are the features you're going to get that you wouldn't get if you were looked at a Google Apps as a replacement, let's say, for Small Business Server. So at the end of the day, my opinion is this, is that Small Business Server 2008, as it stands today, uh, if you can afford it, 
is a better way to get started than uh, really looking at the Google app things, you know. Especially if you're looking for more robust network services, right? Uh, you want that Microsoft ecosystem. Um, and I think that depending on what you pay for the server and the consulting fees, and certainly the more users you have, um, then it's probably ultimately going to be less expensive than working with Google on the premium version. Uh, however, if your pocketbook's tight and you don't need some of this stuff, then Google Apps may very well be the clear winner for you. It really bears thinking it through and what your, what your future growth is going to be. You can always start on Google Apps and then transition over to Small Business Server a little down, down the road. And that may be a very good way to get your uh, company up and off the ground with a minimum investment. No servers. Uh, you're still probably going to need a consultant or an IT professional to help you get all the email stuff configured. But you know what? It uh, certainly uh, is a, a several thousand dollar investment you can kind of pocket uh, right there off the bat. So there you have it. Plan for growth, depending on what your needs are going to be. If you want that Microsoft eco ecosystem, if you want file printer sharing, if you want uh, all this, the remote web workplace, uh, the backup solution that comes with small business server, uh, you want all these things, Windows Software Update Services that pushes uh, patches out to your, uh, your area network, then Small Business Server is going to be much more robust. But if your needs are basic um, calendaring and uh, email, that sort of thing, perhaps the uh, Google Apps will do it for you. That's my take on it. I, must, I still think at this juncture, Small Business Server would be worth the upfront investment. Um, that of course, Google is basically really hitting Microsoft hard with this one. And this could possibly be the last major version of Small Business Server. Uh, certainly, I think it's just a matter of time. You know, Microsoft does have their hosted solutions, and they may, uh, they may be pushing that more and more and more. And who knows? There may not even be a Small Business Server down the road. Who knows? But as it stands today, that's my recommendation. Always love to hear from you. like to get your opinions and comments on this. Feel free to uh, rate our videos. Remember, we're also having a drawing on June the 30th. It's a Tuesday at between 1 and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just visit Frugal Brothers. That's F-R-U-G-A-L Brothers.com. Hit the link that says Frugal Tech Live. Join the live chat room. Be there on the day, and we will be having a drawing for an iPod Nano. Bruce Nader, Frugal Tech. Remember, if it's in your shop, not making you money or saving you money, get it out of there. I'll talk to you later.